everyone. Welcome back to Pirates of the Burning Sea. I'm here with Bruce Silver and R. Maybe Gray. How are you doing, guys? Doing good. All right, Matt. Hey, peeps. So, so we're Carlos again. Um, he's kind of stepped away from the game a little bit. He's going to fleet with us once in a while, but he probably won't be doing much recording of the game. So it's down to week three, Musketeers. So, uh, we finished some missions and turned them in, so we're gonna head back down to the dock now, and we'll go and start up some more. So when you're running through town, make sure you sprint, and then you can run a lot quicker. And we will get set, let's see which mission we're gonna do first. The one you pick. That would be the one. So let me see. That'll be a forlorn hope. That one's activated. So in we go. Hope you paid your life insurance. Who did I pay life insurance to you again? Oh, it was you, wasn't it? That's right. So say hello to ahead of me here. Don't. Oh, I guess run out ahead of me. Defeat the lieutenants and then the enemy commander. So we need to kill guys. Yay! So don't forget to activate your bus. My what? Your defensive buff. I can't remember what button that is. I'll just shoot randomly in the air instead. So much easier. <laughs> hmm, I seem to be lagging pretty badly all of a sudden. As long as you do it with flare. <laughs> I'm not too bad That's for the lagging. pirate. That's the pirate way. <laughs> as long as they die, we're all right. That You're welcome. A cool move. I love that one. Core core. I'd run my two swords together and kill them all. So I respect to Florentine, we uh, we were using fencing, which is what you guys are using now. I'm still using fencing, yeah. Do you mind explaining the difference then, please, Matt, if you don't mind? No, just different styles, uh, different abilities. Um, not One is not necessarily better than the other, it's just how, how you spec, how you use it. Okay. I know you're using uh, two swords there too, Brew. Or did you put a, a second sword in your gun slot? Mm, I don't no. know. No, you can't do that. It's uh... I can say. According to your graphic, it's showing you uh, sporting two yeah, blades he's there. Yeah, dagger. No, I don't know. Sorry. Uh, it's probably just the sword he's using has a graphic for two. Yeah, that's cool. See how Hitman knows more about my character than I do. That is awesome. Alright, well let's pull this guy here. I guess it didn't matter. <laughs> Was I not supposed to kill him? Yeah, but I was I tagged him so that all the uh, NPCs would focus their attention on him, and he's the only one we're fighting, so they're all focusing their attention on him anyway. <laughs> Excellent. Well, you never know. There could be some in the group who don't know what we're doing, and you got to help them along. Well, I definitely use that one when we're doing if I'm doing a boarding mission because if we focus on the captain first, then usually you can get through it quicker. I'd like yep, to say because I he counts as a wave. Okay, so last one is Commander downstairs. Don't forget the dice. I already have. For once I'm right. I'll come here to you. Be a good little boy and just die.
Okay, let's roll and go. Roll and roll. roll. Got a couple of smelly salts. Yeah, I'm sailing with a couple of smelly old salts. That would be you guys. Arr. <laughs> no soap. Uh, I reckon it was powder. Black powder. Alright, here we go again. So, when I select a mission, it shows up for you guys. It's the only mission you can take, right? Yep. Right. So that's that's by the the group leader picks the mission, and I didn't have to activate it. I could just go straight into it, and it would do the same thing, activate it for you. And this one, we need to reach the drop off point, which is over on our left. So we don't actually have to kill the ships, and then we we have to board the fort. Uh, no, we can just shoot the fort. Brewery, if you don't move, I'm gonna ram you. Thank you. There's the thing that's right over here. There we go, here I'll steer you. <laughs> I'd like to say, just before we started recording, we were talking about me getting in Hitman's way, and I said I haven't done that for ages either. And then I go and do it. So it's lower. Alright, so once we get to that drop off point, um not sure what happens there if we just click it and keep going or what may update what we have to do our mission goals so we'll see oh there's the port battle for Belize and there's a wreck somebody can grab if you want nice. can you really swing back toast. over there uh, I, iron, grab it, yeah. I mean uh, car right now, sorry iron uh, I don't know don't offend me like that please That was oh, That just means time. I was thinking about him and talking about him at the same time, see? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying nothing. So if you're sailing along, you'll find you do um, more damage and take less sail damage if you press B for battle sails. You go slower, but your accuracy will be a lot higher, I think. I didn't know you could do that. I'm not chasing you over the seven seas. Alright, great. If you want to go over and click on that thing on your left, that drop off point, you'll probably have to stop to do it. We'll keep fighting these ships, and then we'll see if our uh, mission updates. Alright. Should give up. There you go, you can grab that one too if you like. May as well. You never know what you might okay, get. I clicked on it and it took me to an island. Okay, you have, okay, to, you escort have to escort them through the enemy, the enemy defenses, defenses, so. Right. Just kind of follow the way through. So, do you guys go with me or do I do by this this by myself? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm selling there right now to see. I think I better leave this wreck and just come straight where you met. Oh, uh, sure. The uh, battle's probably going to be over by the time you get here, but we'll see. We'll then have well, to go and sink that fort, so you could grab that wreck and then sail to the I haven't done. I haven't done anything, and there's an NPC here to talk to. Okay. Uh, so I was going to give you guys an option to get... Yeah, you're here. I'm 500 yards out. Alright. Guess you don't want to dance. 
the gray uh, gray beard. Are you uh, are you doing sign language here, dude? Like that one? That's the dance? That's all you got? <laughs> oh, there, what's that going time? on? So how do you do things We're like that? a good time here. Well, I'm amazing, sorry. You have to watch my video to see. Man, you do a slash and then if you hit F1, you can look at the emotes and it tells you all the different things you can do. All right, Gray, if you want to talk to her, we'll escort her. All right. Okay, we don't have to go fight those guys. We go this way. Okay, you got to keep going or she won't bother. So our main job is to kill everybody and keep her from dying. And then she runs in ahead of everybody. She's a woman. They like to always be in first. Uh oh. Here goes a drop in view. <laughs> <laughs> they always like to be in the shops first and in the middle of it all. Well, unless it's just Scottish women that are like that. Not enough stuff to kill. Let's pull some more. Oh, I was just getting ready to say I'm real lagging really hard. <laughs> I hope it works out for you guys. Oh, are you uploading a video right now? Yeah. That would be totally unplayable for me. Damn you and your good internet. Lol. Don't ask what I was doing there. We're running ahead? No, I was just sort of standing there watching them. Wow, I can get a hit in about every five minutes. <laughs> okay, we've been playing this game a while now. And the one thing I think they really need to work on is the actions for the guns because it is pretty bad. What do you mean like yeah, you want to get uh, you want to get the the guns to do more damage to them? No, so I mean you will see it yourself sometimes the gun will fire to the side and but you're actually hitting the target in front. I got gotcha. you. It's just my opinion. And now we fo now we sail in and yeah, bombard the, the fort. Uh, fort. <laughs> so, how do you guys like these level twenty ships? Very nice. Yes. I mean, I can't wait to go onto the big warships. At like level 40s and that. Well, that's just me. I'm strange. Well, these handle a lot easier. And okay, as long as you're doing, still killing the stuff you're at level, you're not going to notice much difference other than the ships getting harder to move at all. Let's see what's next. Oh, we have a group mission. Irish mutineers are trying to claim their amnesty, and the Royal Navy is out to stop them. Give the British what for so the mutineers can reach safety. I never ever thought okay, of help so mutineers. Irish mutineers. Irish eyes are smiling. 
Okay, so this one can be tricky and very easy to fail sometimes. Depending on how stupid the AI is. Which I'm sure we all agree is pretty damn stupid sometimes. Like allies sailing in front of you and dying, the ones that you're trying to save, that sort of thing. So let's kill this Van Horn to start with. It's quite a threat as well. Don't forget Don't to forget use your gunpowders. I've never actually used a gunpowder. No, oh, I always use them. Well, not always, but uh, most of the time I do. Anytime I'm gonna do more than one battle, they they last uh, through several instances. There's a timer. Okay. I think it's 15 minutes, uh, something like that. So we're. We're trying to beat this timer that says there's going to be more enemies arriving in three minutes. Is that the idea? Well, it, it just means more will be coming, so the faster we kill them, the better the chances that we'll save the mutineers. So in this one, if you're soloing it, it's very easy to get, you know, kind of pulled off to another area and then lose, like, Brew, where you're over there, if you were all alone, you'd be you, mm. you'd fail this mission because you're. I mean, you've never done it before, so I'm not criticizing. It's just I've been there and done that already on this one. <laughs> I've actually done it on another mission, the exact same idea. I mm -hmm. think it was Cat Island, if I remember rightly. I don't remember. My brain's gone tonight. See, they're all sailing away now, so I gotta try and chase them down. They see me coming, that's what it is. Yeah, those sails are pretty scary. Pink sails on the horizon. They're not pink, they're orange. Yeah. What's here? It's still funny looking. Very unpiratly like. Very unpiraty. Out of the way, you darn mutineer, I'm coming through here. So I'm giving my viewers a treat. I'm actually sitting as if I was captain the ship, zoomed right in. One more hit and that heavy snow should go down. I'm about to hit it now. He's the last guy, and in 12 seconds, we're going to have another group come in here. And we'll be ready for them. Get out of my way!
did that poor derelict ever do to you? That wasn't the derelict I was worried about. It was that MPC ship that kept dodging in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so more and more to kill, and then this one will be done. Well, I've got a question for the viewers. What are the viewers enjoying just us doing? Missions or fleeting? Hmm. Comments I had to guess, I would say a little column A, a little column B. I'm waiting for somebody to comment saying we hate it all. Well, by now they're probably not still watching the videos. I know, but there's always one though, isn't there? Okay, so if we lose both of these guys, we fail, right? That's right. This must be a hard mission on your own though. Very, yep. Like we lost one there. I didn't see anything. We'll pay attention. Beautiful timing. It looked like he ran into me and blew up. <laughs> Lol. I know that's not what happened, but it looked good. <laughs> There's a word for that, it's called fire ships. Yeah, I've run into those the other day, they were pretty impressive. I've not seen one on this game yet. It was the British that used them against um, the French in the 1800s, was it? 1800s? I think so. According I to see, the, um, I see your technique you're using there. <laughs> yeah, keep them out of the line of fire, steer them off the other way. Dummy. Grab that derelict if he's in your range, Gray. He's nearly 300 yards away from me. Made it so one guy got out, I guess. <laughs> yep, that's all you need to do. I would say one there was more. I would say there was more than one guy on that ship though. Yeah. Yeah, but it looked like there was only one brain between all of them. <laughs> You've been generous on you. I may as well do patrolling with me, that's a good one to do. That's one that's a daily. I think I already explained that one before, but if I didn't, then you get the Marks of War, which you can use in uh, the Realm versus Realm uh, system in the game. Alright, so in this one, these ships are lower than us and they all scramble, so let's just talk to them and not bother getting positioned, just kill them as they uh, come sailing out of here. So, as Fatman would say, battle stations. Or actually, it's general quarters when you're at sea. Oh, that's why I said what Fad would say. Hey, welcome to Iron Brew Addict has some intelligentness. Oh, that, that must have hurt them.
Man, those stern shots sure wreck them. Oh, yeah. Level 5 catch. Feel like we're picking on kids or something. Baby clubbing or something. In this game, uh, if you kill lower levels than you, it's called seal clubbing. And no, it doesn't mean, you know, seals go into clubs. So is there a punishment for it or not? No. Cause it's well, just the general disrespect and disdain by the rest of the uh, other nations, I suppose. Yeah, it's a lot of games, if you're picking on certain people lower than you, you actually get punished for it, don't you? Not this one. Well, I mean, you know, it's one thing to, to, to be upset about it, but you know, everybody has the ability to do it, and every nation at some point is doing it. So, yeah. Well, the thing is, um, what we always said is there's no crying in the red. Because the only time you can get PvP is A, you turn your PvP flag on. Uh, we're in a mission now, great. Okay. And, and B is if you sail into the red. And if you don't know, well, you're going to learn in a, in a hurry and you're going to lose a really cheap boat. And who cares? You're a pirate. You can get another one. Oh, wow, that little boat makes me want to sing the Rubber Ducky song. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. <laughs> oh, good. You had me worried. I heard you groaning in your beard there. <laughs> Brute, you gotta quit smoking. I can hear you. I know. killing you. You gotta stop. I was waiting for you to say something about it. I can't help it. It's on my list of things to do. Well, just make sure you do that before you die of lung cancer, because that's, I know that's further down your list. But. Yeah, well, some of my viewers will know I am actually trying to quit at the moment, so. Well, it's not easy, I'll tell you that. Especially if you're around a lot of people who do smoke. Been there, done that. I smoked for... 13 years before I quit. But also, I have a very stressful job at times, and it's quite nice just to get out and have a fag and get away from it all as well. And bro, you got the best wind. Do you want to sail ahead and get and talk to the merchantman? I've got the best wind. I'm direct to the wind. Well, you don't have to sail right out. Okay, never mind. I'll do it. Just. No, no, I'll right, do it. Okay, you do it, because <laughs> Bruce just blocking me trying to sail a pack in there. Oh man, I wish I could shoot at you. I, so I would just wait. Look at this nice stern shot coming up here. <laughs> Your little brew bits all over the place. Well, I think after this episode there might be a ship duel going on. <laughs> Speaking done, of right? after this episode, we've just uh, we just finished this one, so we'll probably wrap it up here, and we'll see what we're gonna do for next episode. So we'll see you all next time. Bye. Stay dry. <laughs>